On May 17th, lightning struck and it hit Mike Weed and his family. Mike suffered a severe stroke, leaving him unable to speak and unable to move the right side of his body. When we initially learned that this was a stroke, it was absolutely just very hard to believe. Even when my other sister called me to tell me Mike had a stroke, I thought, Mike who? <laughs> I had no comprehension that it could even possibly be my brother. Mike uh, spent a week in the ICU at Hartford Hospital. He has moved since to Gaylord and started his, his journey of rehabilitation. Gaylord's mission is really just to get him in and out of there and, and give him as many services as he can in that short period of time. He had headaches for a solid week. He literally said to me, Heidi, if, if I thought it was something more serious, I would, I would do something about it. He didn't feel that it was necessary. He really was very confident that it was a headache. Some of the precursors of a stroke, I honestly never even knew them. Knowing the signs and knowing when you might be having some sort of symptom, that three to four hour window after you're experiencing signs of a stroke is your best weapon in fighting stroke. Well, there are a few warning signs of stroke and you can memorize them using the acronym FAST. The F in FAST stands for face. You have to ask the person to smile. And if both sides of the face move equally, they're normal. But if one side of the face doesn't move at all, it's abnormal. A is for arm. Ask the person to raise both arms. If both arms move equally, they're normal. But if one arm drifts downward compared to the other, it's abnormal. S stands for speech. You have to ask the person to speak a simple sentence. Does the person use correct words with no slurring, then they're normal. But if they slur their speech, use inappropriate words, or are unable to speak at all, they'd be abnormal. T, it's time. Time to call 911. If you observe any of these symptoms, call 911 immediately. Every minute matters. Weed Strong is, is about the fight. It's, it's when you look in Mike's eyes, that's Weed Strong. You know that he's gonna get through this, that he's gonna fight, and if anybody, is going to get through the situation. It's Mike Weed. The support from our family and friends has been overwhelming. All positive, overwhelming. Um, I, I didn't know we know this many people. I have people reaching out that I, I don't recognize names. Neighbors coming out of nowhere to help mow our yard. Family, friends offering to watch the children in any capacity people offering meals through June, and it, it just shows the integrity of, of Mike Weed, and um, it's just amazing, it's just amazing. They're an active family with a, a lot of bills, a lot of expenses to begin with. Uh, medical expenses are increasing, as you would expect. Modifications to the home might have to be made, and Mike is the primary source of income for the family. What you can do simply is just let everybody know about the situation, keep Mike and his family in your prayers, and if you feel compelled to do a little more, there's an online donation site that's been set up. They're gonna need our help. They're a wonderful couple together. They've got three great kids, and God willing, the future has a, a, holds a whole lot more for them and their family. On behalf of my father and the entire Weed family, we thank you for coming together as a community and showing us your overwhelming support. Remember, know the signs of a stroke and act fast. When there's a weed, there's a way.